All right, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this yes, is the continuation of my uh, second chronicle and the Septimus Three Wabajack Modelist for Skyrim mm. SE. We're doing Dawn Guard content. I just got done eating and sleeping and taking care of uh, stowing and selling stuff. And <laughs> this guy's slow. And so now we're going to fast travel back to Fort Dawn Guard. And see uh, what's next for side quests, or potentially if we're done with side quests. I don't really know. But we're going to try and find out. Halfway to through level 30. Talk to anyone. Something? Nah, I don't think so. Okay. I'm glad you are my Speak with Florentius. He has something for you. Yeah. That was different. I have. There was a time years ago when we were both members of the Vigilance and both equally dissatisfied with them. Okay, Their I've heard this. Their hearts are in the right place. We left together, but that partnership didn't last very long. I didn't agree with some of his methods. There's Florentius. Arke has been watching over me for years now. He says he's not too sure about you yet, though. <laughs> Arke has some grave news, friend. Your friend, kidnapped. Arke Stay vigilant, friend. friend. Take care, man. I once killed 30 vampires with... Arke has some grave news. Your friend, kidnapped. Farewell. Okay, well, I'll have to pause you and I need to look up Dawn Guard Quest to see if there's one that's hinted at about friend being kidnapped and then we'll use the console to advance the quest line. I don't know what's going on here. This is a little bit weird. But uh, let me hit escape so time doesn't pass here and I will put you on pause right now. All right. Well, thanks to the magic of the console and all this information I can find on Google, this quest is called, uh, shoot, what is it called? Rescue. So we want to hit set stage DLC 1 RH 06 to 10. All right, that is the one that he gave us. Uh, it gave me the quote that he said and all that good stuff. So, man, I am really thankful day, for friend. this uh, well? console command system because something with my file is not allowing me to get these organically to, to push forward by themselves. All right, we are going to fast travel where? Shimmer Mist Cave. I've already been there. Sweet.
look, she's, I think she's burning up from my aura. Where are you going? Are you an enemy or are you one of ours? Look at that shield she conjured up. Saran actually survived this fight. Oh, my troll died. Ah, uh, okay. Well, the dragon's not interested in fighting, so we're gonna go ahead and press onto the cave. I was real happy with how my regeneration worked on that. I kept glancing down to check my health and I wasn't. I was never really hurting. save. I have just enough magic to get both those spells off. Oh, I feel really bad. Yeah, let's uh, not have that be how that goes down. to be vampires in here, but right now all I see is Falmer. So, that first spell, the aura that I have going, isn't going to help me with that. take on the master vampire in here. I don't remember Fastrid. Shade, I guess. Is that it? No. Wait. Ah, no, I don't think so. Shimmer Miss Grotto. There. No! 
Sounds like a spider. Quick save. This is where I can actually go uh, double up on fast healing. Bam. Okay, good. fast. Have I gotten you yet? No. Surprisingly. Because I've been here before. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Okay, hold on. I think maybe this way. Did I? I don't know if I got turned around or not. I don't know if this is the way I came in. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was trying to match that up with my marker. Compass marker. just kind of muscled my way through that. Okay, where's the uh, vampire here? Give me the dust. I don't even really need the dust anymore. I got so much vamp dust, I don't know what to do with it all. I guess I'll grab these bolts. Most of this is pretty nice. Okay. And that's really all I'm interested in. Got any chests back here or anything? Okay, I think we can go ahead and uh, get on out of here. That felt cool to me because I'm enjoying seeing these new spells at work. I feel like um, our guy has really kind of fleshed out. Uh, there are spells that I can put into the resto tree to improve our sun spells and stuff. So there's still room to grow, like significant growth. But you can see the outline of who our guy's supposed to be and how he's supposed to operate, and he, he's tough. Well, we're a walking tank now. We have, we're, we're good at the heavy armor. We've got a paralyzing axe. The axe, I mean, I would count that as damage mitigation. 
Uh, we have a great shield. We have terrific enchants. And then we're in the resto tree on top of that with health regeneration and heal spells. And then we got sun spells that are causing damage to vampires and undead. This is this is what I was talking about in my intro video. You know, all this kind of stuff. That it's all coming together now. And uh, it's fun to play. It took a while to get to this point. Um, but it's quite a bit of fun now that I'm there. Now we're... I think this is where I gotta go over this way. I think there's only like two more side quests to do. Guess that dragon's not here anymore. Look at that night sky. That right there is a beautiful scene. These are the kinds of things that keep Skyrim relevant. Well, I, I kind of hate when the screen flickers like that. It gets kind of that synth wave, low res sort of look. But, um, that's beautiful. And it's really kept this game. All these little additions, the, the glowing windows, and it was just it's such a, a hugely smart move for Bethesda to open the code up to everybody. And it, it made the, that company legendary. I mean, Elder Scrolls was already established, right? But Skyrim just blew everything off the hinges. I don't know why I did that. I don't need any of this. It blew everything off the hinges and um, was able to stay so relevant that, that people have actually modded entire projects that took enormous amounts of work to take Skyrim assets into Morrowind and Oblivion. So you have a mod out there called Skyblivion and one called Skywind that is effectively playing the Elder Scrolls Morrowind game and the Elder Scrolls Oblivion game with updated Skyrim type graphics. It's it's not exactly on par, but it's pretty, it's way upscaled from what it was. And that's, that's what uh, releasing that code has done for their entire series. And it's, it's made them legends in the business. Um, they've, they've taken on some grief lately and I don't think anybody likes that they're owned by Microsoft now. That's not something that people tend to trust. But we'll see how that Elder Scrolls 6 goes. But man, they have really... They, they knocked the ball out the park with Skyrim. Arke's been watching over me for years now. I know. Arke told me of your success. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll ask him a follow-up question then. I've been poring over some of the tomes left here in the keep. Interesting stories indeed. Seems the previous incarnation of the Dawn Guard had, at one time, some interesting toys. Arke and I think it could be a great advantage for us. You should look into retrieving it. What is this artifact? A powerful warhammer in 
imbued with magic that places warding runes on the ground to obliterate its wielder's foes. Sounds <laughs> interesting. Sounds useful. Yeah. Any idea what I'll be up What's against? What's that, Lord? Well, should I tell him? Arke says you'll be facing warlocks. Nothing you can't handle. All right, understood. Go with the light. I like Florentius, man. I like his character and how he's always like, hold on. <laughs> I'm talking to RK. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Cracks me up, man. All right. So that is right here. South Fringe Sanctum seems to be the closest thing. Greywater Grotto is pretty close as well. Well, I've been there for sure, so I'm going to fast travel to Greywater. Look at this rugged looking dude. There's hunger in those eyes. All right. Air's frigid. We've got to head off in this direction. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, with survival on, you have to kind of know. You, you don't have time to lollygag around. You need to know where your path is at, and I don't, so I'm going to temporarily disable survival mode. What was that? Hello, spell sword. Ha, take that. Ah, no I yield, I yield. Yeah. Ah. Shield. <laughs> There's only one way of yielding in this land. You gotta stop breathing. Okay, and then end to here. Quick save. then uh, I think it's F3 to get my regeneration oh yeah that regions actually pumping me up pretty quickly What we <laughs> Did we just kill a good guy? That thing's name was Pumpkin. Oh, look at how burnt up this dude is, man. No, that's blood. Never mind. He is smoking, though. I think that's the effects of what uh, Serana did to him. And, uh... Okay, well then, we have an underground road system going through this cave. That's not something you see every day. Ah! Oh gosh, man, dude was begging forgiveness.
Did you notice that they, they made the lock look frozen? Rana. Stop that. All right. Anything that I can disenchant? Okay, so we learned stamina reach in. Already is touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. What was that? I will make you the instrument of my cleansing. Uh, the break of dawn. I think I already had that quest. I thought. Thanks for getting me out of that. Bashnag's coven chased me out and left me for dead down here. Nobody lasts too long with the spiders. Please, will you help me get out of here? If the coast is clear, I'll make a break for it. Yeah, do your thing. Coven Bashnag's wouldn't... circle of mages. We, <laughs> well, they live here. They made it pretty clear that I'm no longer welcome. You're a necromancer? I am, and I don't want to hear your moral judgments about it either. I wouldn't have had to study in secret in the old days. <laughs> How are you holding I'm up? I'm feeling better, but Bashnag's curse won't wear off for weeks. Tell me more about the Coven. These are no dainty college mages. Bashnag has the skill of a magister and the mind of a warlord. This is a dangerous bunch. They're good company. If you want to study necromancy in peace, though. Bashnag is dead. He is. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Perhaps it's for the better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm a paladin, so... Do you mind swinging that somewhere else? What are you doing? <sighs> I don't think so. What are you... Really? Well, let me get to a better vantage point here. Golly, what's going on with this camera? So you're down. Hawk feathers, I'll take that. All right, you can keep everything else. Oh, I hit him again. All right, let's kill these spiders. I 
let's go back into first person. Oh, I got turned around, I guess. I want to make sure that that was the end of the cave. I saw it moving around. Okay, so I guess... I guess the whole thing doubles back. So we go out here. circle around underneath and it kind of figure eights on itself it turns back on itself and dumps us out back at this point right here I've not been up here right or I mean I have been up here I said that backwards yeah I recognize this stuff Weapons, axe recharge. Uh, do a grand. Okay. That filled it up. We will now RTB to Fort Dongard. Divine smile on you, friend. Do you think Floridia is really toxic? Arc I once killed 30 vampires with my bare hands, you know. Ask Arcane, he'll tell you. <laughs> I have retrieved the Dawnguard rune hammer from South Fringe. <laughs> well <laughs> done. I said you'd return victorious. Arcane wasn't so sure. Wield it bravely. Okay, so Farewell. this is it. Bashing places a rune on a nearby surface. The rune explodes for 50 points of fire damage when enemies come near. Now, I thought that this thing increased in damage as you killed undead. Maybe that's an additional effect. I'm not quite sure. It does significantly less damage than my ebony war axe, so... Uh, let's look at what's required. I'm sure it's gonna be a dwarven ingot to improve it. Oh, it would, uh... Be here. Requires a steel ingot. It takes some getting used to. We got iron available. I don't see I like any steel. Done place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. All right, well, don't you worry about me. I've been through worse. I'll come out of this. 
just fine. This guy sounds like he's suffering through PTSD. <laughs> it is my sworn duty to see Arke's wrath delivered to all the undead. Yeah, that sounds good. good. Fun too. That, hey, man, my kind of dude. All right, what can I do to help? Speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Okay. Arke, bless you, Red. This is fine for now, but we... I found another beast hiding from the light of day. Fight bravely, friend. Okay, so there we're looking at the same kind of situation. I'll put you on pause and see what I can figure out. Okay, through process of elimination, I have figured out that it is hunting the monster. So set, stage, uh... DLC 1R H 0 4 and we want 10 DLC 1 RH 0 4 let me double check that DLC 1 RH 0 4 okay that didn't seem to work for me and what I'm going to say is that uh, we're done with the side quest. I don't really know what else to do. And the more that I mess with the console, I think the more of a uh, chance that there is that I can corrupt my save file and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and knock out... What was in here? Anything? No. Do, 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 the last part of touching the sky and that's how we'll end this episode and that'll set us up for the final mission in the next episode all right guys i'm here at the temple and it did occur to me that you have already seen this i've already recorded it um, this is, I'm playing the rollback, you know, so that we could get the, uh, so, side quests done. Thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and we pause you again. I'm going to go in, I'm going to finish sure. this fight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the Paragon Gems. And if you want to know where all of them are at, you can look that up on YouTube. It's really easy. Just, you know, put in something like Paragon, Skyrim Paragon Gem locations. But they're found on Frost Giants. And I can tell you that there's a Frost Giant right there. There's a frost giant right there. On your way through here, you'll face a frost, frost giant somewhere up here. Uh, the video I watched had me go here, and instead of crossing the bridge, actually, I guess it would be here. And instead of crossing the bridge, I jumped, I kind of scaled down this cliff. So he's actually, he's up here. There it is, frost giant lair. So that's another one. But um, we're going to go ahead and do some of these. I've got a video up right now, so I'll pause you whenever I need to re uh, reference the video again. But the first one we're going to do is the Amethyst. And we'll portal through. And ah, uh, here it is. Okay. Most of this stuff is gonna be good for selling. Uh, for gold, which is not something that I'm really in need of at this point in time. But it's nice to just kind of see the content, I guess. And make the discoveries. I should have looked at a little more closely at what was in that chest. All right, we'll go back. Take that back. And next, we'll do the sapphire. I think the sapphire one comes off that giant right there.
the amethyst came off the other giant that's right down the stream from him. Uh, looks like we've got a dig site, so I'll take advantage of that. And then uh, this is a uh, kind of a pretty room. You got the moonlight pouring in from the frozen wastes outside. And this room is uh, best known for, I guess, all of the gems that you can loot. There's a few other things too. We just picked up an elven helmet. Shield, gauntlets. I might be able to fill out a mannequin. Elven sort of harvesting. That's gonna be some kind of blood transfer. Arrows, flawless garnet, flawless sapphire stamina cards, card, drafted champion, and uh, this stuff right here. Okay. That leaves Ruby and Diamond and Emerald. Okay, so I will be right back. I know the Ruby one, but the others I don't. So hold on just a second. Okay, so next it's going to be Emerald. That's going to take us up to the very top of this waterfall. Where I kind of want to scout around a little bit, make sure there's not anything up here for us. And there's not, because remember, I'm dealing with mods, right? So sometimes there's stuff lying around that isn't reflected in the video guides that I'm watching. And we're going to kind of skirt down here. There we go. That looks like a way shrine up there. I wonder if there's any way to get to that. This is the main part that we want to get to, though. The guy didn't indicate to me that there's any way up there. He did mention that there's elven ruins, and so that's what I assume he's talking about. But, um, bone meal, eh. Right here, we've got a scroll of dragon hide, potent lingering magic, a potion, and a hundred gold and a flawless garnet. We've got, uh, hunting bow of frost. Elven arrows. These books right here, these unknown books, you can sell them to uh, Ugrob or whatever his name is over in the college. And they sell for a thousand coin each, according to the video I was watching. Great sword of greater weakness to frost. And I think that is everything. That's a long ways down. Okay. Let's see if I can make my way back up. Man, this is cool. I love this, uh... Ah, I forgot what it's called, too. It's the mod that does the weather and lighting, and the... There's a lot of impressive things about the mod, because it's like dynamic weather, right? But that sky is one of the most impressive things, in my opinion. That looks like a real sky to me. 
there's a little bit with the clouds that look oh, something like an oil painting a little bit smudgy and not like clouds specifically kind of in that area is what I'm looking at uh, so you can get that effect that's a little bit uh, not realistic it's not bad it's not ugly I'm just saying you know you're you're not looking at the real sky right you see those things and that's not quite right but these are spot on all of that's pretty spot on I mean the vast majority of it's very realistic looking and I, I think that's quite fascinating whoever put that together So we're, we're three down. I think he's going to do diamond next. So I will be right back. Okay. This one's another really straightforward one. Uh, diamond. It's going to take us to a scene within the glacial crevice where we can loot a chest. So we're pretty high up here in the glacial crevice. You want to be careful not to slip off the edge. Oh, we got baddies over there. And right here is our box. Gold, stamina, scroll. Yep. All that stuff will sell pretty well if you're in need of money. Maybe you're leveling enchanting like I am and you need to buy stuff. I don't know. Um, I've got the Black Star, so I just haven't really needed money for a while. But I'm also not power leveling or anything like that. So then the last one is the one that I've already done. Um, it's, it's recorded in this video. I am going to go ahead and do it right now because it is the last one so maybe when we come back something different happens I don't really know but we're gonna go into the forest this is where we're gonna get Ariel shield plus uh, a full set of Falmer heavy armor that I can put onto a mannequin he said uh, he said go to the northern tip Everything. All right, that's the direction I need to go. Let me come back here and grab this first. said north huh go figure okay well anyway this is the area that he indicated got a skeleton and then you got this chest discovered a den okay but there's nowhere else to go okay I, I thought it was gonna be like a cave where we entered in I 
she said that was the last of them. So we can go back through. See if this did anything. I also leveled up. So that's going to be the last thing that we do to wrap this episode up. Let me grab this. Oh, okay. All right, nothing real special. Let's uh, open up the map. And we are looking for Skyrim. Yes. Open up the map. Come down here to White Run. Off screen, I'm going to be sorting out my mannequins. I think I've got enough elven and falmer armor to make a couple mannequins. Um, and if I don't have any mannequins to put them on, then I'll ship it off to the Dragonborn Museum. I might just simply do that anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking actually, yes. Um, oh, let's talk to her. Honor to you. You're home. Want to play a game? Oh, man, I, I uh, feel bad about uh... that. I, I never play a game with her. I've only done it once. Uh, let's see. You. So, um... Are you all right? Yeah, I'll, I'll sort everything. Yes, thank you. And stuff like that. And then we'll be ready to do the final mission of Dawnguard. And that's going to be another checkbox done for me for Skyrim well I thought I was I thought I had leveled guys da, 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 da. I could have sworn that it said I had leveled where's my uh, prayer here it is it keeps shuffling these He's things around on me food oh yeah I, I turned uh, I turned uh, survival off for a minute because it was so cold okay well I'm gonna have to actually redo I'm gonna load an autosave and kind of redo that whole section I could have sworn I leveled up but uh, if it does something funny to me and levels up while I'm off screen then I'll just back brief you on what I selected and uh, let's go ahead and close it out then. Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where we're going to wrap this chronicle up with that last mission for uh, Dawnstar and the Septimus Three Wabajack mod list.